Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Renee. If you know or if you don't know, I make videos twice a week. Normally one vlog, so I show you what my day is, so like decluttering my home, cleaning my home, gardening, whatever it is that I'm doing. And I also show you a grocery haul. I show you what I spent, I tell you how much I spent, and which stores I go to. Now, this grocery haul is going to be a little bit different from my normal grocery hauls because it's going to be a little healthier. I started to do the Mediterranean diet. I understand it was a trend like three years ago or whatever it is. For me right now, when I'm looking at my body, I'm looking at what I've been doing over the past six months to try to be healthier, I'm realizing that I need to create a meal plan for myself. I need to no longer skip meals and I need to stop snacking. I've been to Italy numerous times and I love how they eat. I love how they feel about food, what the dedication to food, how much time they spend on food and showing their love eating. And I need to do that for myself currently. So this is why I decided that I'm going to do the Mediterranean diet. So this grocery haul is going to show you the things that I'm incorporating, incorporating into my current meal plan. It's not for everybody. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just showing you what I do. And maybe you're going to be looking at it going, that's not right. And honestly, to each his own. If you want to do it one way and I want to do it my other way, that's fine. Like we can all do it differently. And if you think, you know what, this is a fad, this is a trend, she's not gonna follow through, you're probably, you could be right. <laughs> no, honestly, it's more of a lifestyle choice. And really, I'm removing the breads that I eat. I'm removing all the snacking that I do. The chips, you know, the candies, the, you know, like I say I'm not gonna eat it, but I'm gonna eat it. Or I skip meals. So instead of me having, you know, dinner, I will skip dinner completely and just have lunch and then I won't eat all day or I won't eat enough all day and then I'll work out I'll feel extra tired but then I'll have sugar because I'm feeling tired and then when it's time to sleep I'm not sleeping I'm upstairs turn tossing and turning so this is why I'm changing it. My son is not joining this diet. There's a bird outside my window, sorry. My son is not gonna be joining me. Um, I don't force things on him. I don't force meal plans on him. I don't force um, things that he doesn't like because there's no point. You know, if forcing somebody to do something, it's not gonna make them wanna do it anymore. So I'll show you what I eat and what I've bought this week and then I'll go over my budget as usual and tell you you know, how much I've spent. And if you wanna check out other grocery haul videos, um, I think they'll be linked here or here or somewhere. They're gonna be linked. And um, yeah, so let's jump into the grocery haul. All right, so let's go first to Maxi. So about two weeks ago, I had a bad experience at Maxi. It was a cashier, she was being a little, mm, you know, salty. Um, she was working alone, so I completely understand. And the per like, she, there were two, and then she became one because the other person left. So basically, when the other person left, it was my turn to be at the cash. And so I guess I got the frustration on me. And I did not like it. I didn't address it because I felt that she was in her own feelings, right? So me adding my feelings on top of that was not gonna help. But I went back today and the feeling is not there. Like I used to be like, oh, okay, Max, my the feeling is not there. So I'm not sure if I'm either going to no longer go to Maxi, only go and pick up like quick things like I did today, or pick another Maxi to go to because there is another one and I could stop there. So I don't, I'm still not sure. It also gives me a chance to check out other grocery stores that which I never used to do. I always would go to Maxi, always, always, always. So I am, I'm a little mm, about it, but I went today and it was still, uh. so if you don't see any more Maxi, know that it's just me feeling like eh, not because of anything else, it's just me, it's an internal thing, okay? And I feel like grocery shopping is already stressful, already a big experience, so I want to spend my money in a place that appreciates my business, treats me well, and gives me good value for money. So at Maxi, I got chocolate chip chocolate chips um, for baking, and I got the dark chocolate and the white chocolate because that's what I was run I, I ran out of. Um, I picked up two of each. They were on sale. That's why I picked them up. 
and they were $3.29. There we go. And there we go. And I picked up garlic because garlic was on sale. It was 88 cents each. So I got two. I got more butter, but this time I got the sticks. I got the sticks because I love the sticks. They are so easy to use, especially when you're baking. It's just like you just grab a stick and go, you know? And I only, I don't cook with butter. I cook with olive oil. So um, this is only for baking. And sometimes I bake with olive oil. Like I make a blueberry cupcake, a blueberry muffin. And it has um, olive oil in it and it's really delicious. Actually, I didn't even buy any blueberries this week because I decided I'm not going to have muffins this week. I'm going to switch my breakfast up, up a little bit. So that's it. And in total, at Maxi, I spent $26.68. At Super C, I spent $40. And I picked up prosciutto because I am loving prosciutto right now. So I picked up a pack of prosciutto. And that was $5.99. $5.99. I picked up more lettuce, but this time I picked up the, what is this, the crispy lettuce, so it's this. Okay, so I picked up whoops, crispy lettuce, and that was $1.99, two cucumbers, and that was uh, 79 cents each, a bushel of my favorite tomatoes, and I'm very particular, very particular with my tomatoes. And that was $3.23. It was uh, $4.39 a kilo. Broccoli, two heads. And this was $2.69 for two heads. A bag of potato, which is going to be a part of my carts. And the potatoes were 99 cents for the bag. Sweet pepper, one bell pepper, or sweet pepper, or whatever you want to call it. $1.94. I picked up five bananas instead of four this week so that I can have one on my Fridays off. And the bananas were $1.46, two sweet potatoes. And that was $3.83 for two. And I got another rack of ribs, another rack of ribs. Um, because I already have meat seasoned from last week. So I have the chicken from last week that I separated and seasoned and froze. And then um, the ribs that I seasoned and froze. So this week is just buying out the chicken and the ribs, put that in the oven and dinner is done. So I'm already set. This is gonna be for next week, this ribs. And um, if my son feels like ribs or if something else is on sale, you know, we don't actually have to eat it next week. So that's going in the freezer. And that's it for Super C, and I spent $40.17. So at Walmart, I picked up more household stuff than food. So I picked up six pizzas, as usual, for my son, Delizio, only the best. <laughs> um, then I picked up yogurt, so two for $8. Activia, because that's the one I like. Vinegar for the weeds in my garden, and this was $2.49. Vinegar is really good for killing weeds. Um, then I picked up two scrubbing bubbles because I had to pick up two because it's two for $8. If not, I'm spending $5 each, which is just ridiculous. Sandwich bags were $300 for, I think it was $3.77. And then you'd have 100, if you want 100 bags, for $2.97. So I was like, uh, that, that doesn't make sense to get 200. Um, disinfectant wipes, because that's how I disinfect my kitchen. And this was $2.47, I believe. Am I done? I'm done. And in total, I spent $77.91 at Walmart. Like, I am under budget. I have money left. So in total, I have $45 in here. And in change, I have one, two, three. I have $50 left. And that $50 goes to next week. It does not, you know, you don't take this money and be like, woohoo, part, you know? Okay, maybe not like that. 
<laughs> but you know, not like to go do other things. This is for next week. So this gets rolled into next week's budget. And remember that section that I was telling you about uh, last week? Uh, last week? Yeah, last week. Something about um, the overstock. So you're gonna put this in overstock. And then if by the end of the month, you don't spend it and you didn't need it for food or household or gas or whatever it is, then you can choose what you wanna to do, to do with it. Because maybe this week, groceries are a little bit less. Maybe you find more on sale. Maybe you don't need so many items. Well, that's the reason why you would keep it in because maybe next week you're gonna need a whole bunch of stuff and you don't wanna go over budget next week. So this is how you roll over your money and how you do your budget and how you do your shopping. Is that it? That's it. Now I'm gonna go play in my garden. I have a car full of mulch that I need to mulch my garden before my son gets home from school. So those bags need to get out. So I'm headed to do some work. And if you wanna know about my garden or my gardening or see me gardening, um, just ask and I'll show you because I love gardening. And it's a lot of work, but it pays off so good, especially in the summer. Uh, anyways. Have a good day and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.